And hello everybody and welcome back to Championship Soccer. Uh, I've been really looking forward to get to uh, record another episode. I, uh, as I said last time, I recorded about five episodes in a row and now we're finally back. And uh, it's kind of a weird setup for me for recording. I'm not at my home currently. I'm at my old, old flat the city a little little studio where I used to live but I've since moved out and, and now the place is completely empty there's like one chair and uh, a kitchen counter here where I'm currently recording this uh, <coughs> this this place is going going to be rented in, in in the future when I get it empty but now I'm recording here and it's, it's really weird there's a huge echo because there are no textiles in the <coughs> uh, in the room anymore. But well, uh, I hope it doesn't affect the, the recording. Uh, also, uh, I ha I don't have my big screen with me. I I only have my laptop, so I'm I'm watching from a, a bit smaller sc screen here, and I hope that doesn't affect my performances on the field. We left off with a victory from SV Wehen downstein or something uh where i played a brilliant game i scored a goal and assisted a goal uh, the next game will be against uh ingelholm ingelholm i have no idea how to pronounce that but i probably got it right right uh, they are <coughs> they're currently battling for promotion to the fifth division as we are 12th and basically have no chance for promotion. Uh, yeah, let's see. The controller is responding all right. So I guess there's nothing more to it. Let's check out the squad before we play. Um, let's see here. Oh dear, uh, this guy, Antonius Grosser, is currently banned. He, he got the yellow card in the, in the previous episode, and now he's banned from the game. And he's the best goal scorer of our team. He scored eight goals during this season. Uh, he's been replaced by this guy. Well, I guess he's decent too. He scored like seven goals. Uh, but uh, the, at the last game when I, when I scored the goal, this guy, he gave me a brilliant pass and, and he basically took all the defenders with him on the, uh, on the uh, left wing and then he passed to me in the open space and it was an easy task to go, uh, score a goal here. So that, that guy is really good. And I think in this game it's, it's pretty important to uh, kind of know your teammates and how good they are so so you can basically uh, uh you basically know whom you should pass to i i, I guess a sip of water there and ready for the game i hope i can record at least a couple of episodes today and and some more episodes tomorrow uh once again after that i'm i'm quite busy so but I, I, I try to get an episode a day. And I think it's kind of easy with this game because the recording is very straightforward. Uh, especially uh, as uh, currently I'm not skipping any games. At some point when there are like seasons where there might be 60, 60 games. Uh oh, beautiful, beautiful interception. Uh, like there, there might be 60 games if, if you're playing in, in the pre Premiership in England, we're also playing in the Champions League, there's also the League Cup, there also, there's also the FA Cup, all those competitions when you, where you play, so, so it's, 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 it might be kind of difficult to record all the games, but, well, on the other hand, why not? I'm playing them, so why not record them? You don't have to watch every episode if you don't want like. And 
there's the first opportunity, but Mr. Klausman makes a nice save there. Also, in this episode, I have increased the uh, uh, frame rate a little bit. Uh, it's kind of tricky with this game because the game becomes incredibly difficult if you increase the frame rate. And there's no way of slowing the game down, I think. Well, maybe there is, I'm, I'm not sure, but uh, I've increased the frame rate a, a little bit and, and we'll see if we have a, any noticeable effect. And I'm playing a good defensive football here. I think they are uh, giving us a little bit more pressure. Ob obviously they are one of the top clubs in this division, so, so once again it's a challenging game for us, but uh, hopefully we'll do well here. I also watched uh, watch some of my uh, Older episodes. Oh, that was close. Uh, watched some of my older, older episodes, and, and I'm trying to talk a little bit faster because I kind of sounded like a retarded person when I was talking really slowly. But it's kind of challenging, of course, because uh, I have to think up, think a lot about what I'm saying, uh, and, and English is not my native language so so it's it's a challenge but it's one of the reasons i i wanted to to put on this channel because i want to improve my english a little bit so i haven't been able to use it very much in, in a couple of years and a free kick for our opponent and that is incredibly dangerous, but luckily we survived, and we still survived. Wasn't able to intercept the free kick, and of course the goalie gave a rebound, but so far everything's fine. And, uh, the opponent is it's a very good team, and, and as I said, they're fighting for a promotion, so... I, I'm sure we are going to have a lot, a big challenge in this game. Probably a, a tie would be a good result. And now I'm late from my position. On this level, it's kind of a lot easier to defend because the. Uh oh. Well, <coughs> uh, yeah, as I said, <laughs> on this level it's a bit easier to defend because uh, even if the opponent players are, are fast, uh, they are probably very slow when they have the ball. Uh, because their ball control skills are probably not the best. But once you get on to the higher divisions, now we're in trouble because they are, well, luckily their attack was kind of slow there, I, I managed to get back on my position. Uh, what was I saying again? Uh, yeah, when once you get to the higher divisions, uh, the players will be faster and their ball control skills will be far better, so, so they will also be faster with the ball, which makes defending a lot, di lot more difficult. Whereas in this case you kind of get a little, uh, a little bit of advantage because you don't, uh, uh, when you're defending, you don't have the ball and the opponent does, so you're faster than him, than him, uh, most probably at least in this level. And they are making a substitution. Mr. R. Julich is coming out, and who is coming in? Mr. Zibel. I don't know how good he is. And here we go again. A decent first half, but we didn't really have that many opportunities to score goals. And I didn't get that ball, but luckily, luckily they couldn't 
produce a decent counter attack there. And once again a beautiful interception, but this guy does not give me any space. Well, I made the space for myself, but uh, a poor pass. I wonder how many interceptions I've made already. I mean, I, I believe that I have a huge impact for the, the game because... Uh, uh oh Because of the, all the uh, interceptions I'm making, but, but still we, we don't can't create any opportunities and it's it's a shame that the uh, fab uh, who was that crosser guy is is uh, banned for the match because i think he's he's the best attacker we have and there's an example of the uh, kind of sometimes pretty stupid ai because he didn't get the ball which was not right next to him It seems that they are attacking harder now, the opponents. Uh, where am I? <laughs> I lost my player there. And a sluggish shot. Mr. Closeman does not have any problems with that kind of other crap shot. Oh no, I... Oh, crap, no. Oh. Thankfully, uh, thankfully the goalie managed to make it make the save there. Uh, it was a decent shot. I, I failed to intercept that. And that's a beautiful pass and what about this? It goes in and it's a goal and once again I get an assist for the goal. So that's that's fantastic. Excellent. Can we hold on to this lead? Now it's all about defending. I, 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 the, the, once again, I, I made a brilliant, brilliant pass. I think I'm, you know, the previous career I had in this game, I was an attacking midfielder and I think I didn't get that many assists that I'm getting right now as a defensive midfielder. Ob obviously that now the division is low and the pace of the game is quite low so it might change when I get to the higher levels if I get there uh oh Just nice cross there but oh dear yeah that went in of course it did oh bugger we were it was the zippel guy who, who came in Damn guy. That was a nice shot though, very accurate. Uh, <coughs> and once again I failed. Please don't score. A win would be, would be really nice here. Uh, that's nice playing from, from the side back. There now, let's do a fast. Oh well, <laughs> that's a poor shot, but the goalie gives a rebound. Incredible, and I managed not to intercept that. Or yeah, well, oh well. And now we're in trouble again, and I'm out of my position. But luckily the defense. Oh, <laughs> that was dangerous. That could have been a penalty. And... A couple of substitutions here. Sorry, I just hit my mic, I, I hope. That didn't produce a huge noise, noise there. Uh, where should I pass? I think, hey, no, not there! Oh, 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 crap! Oh, dear! Let's attack. Let's score the winning goal here. Three minutes left in the game. That's a beautiful cross, but the attacker can't make it. And the, his cross is terrible, but... No! Yes! Yes! <laughs> Last minute 
Wick winning goal. I mean, they can't score anymore, can they? No way. There's only like one minute plus extra time left in the game. Wonderful if we manage to get a win here. Come on. We don't have the whole day. And defense, 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 defense. Come on. Oh crap, that's a cute pass. Don't screw this up, man. Yes. And that's a victory for us. And once again, I think I played extraordinarily well. I, I, I assisted a goal and got a ton of interceptions here. And what do you know? Man of the match, Jay Lutmanen. And my rating is 9 in this game, which is which is very good, obviously. Uh, our form was quite a bit better than the opponents, so... so uh, luckily, we managed to turn the game around in the last minute. So that's the second victory in a row. Let's see what that does for our team. Uh, if we watch team information, there's a huge difference here now. The mood of the fans, first it was angry. After that, it was disappointed, and now it's already optimistic, so th that's nice. Also, the confidence of the team has has risen to average, and the morale is acceptable. So, so uh, uh, I'm not sure, but I think that has got something to do with the uh, uh, form of the team in the in the games. So it's it it will be more likely that in the future games we will be in a better form, and and you know. Playing becomes easier, and it means well. It doesn't mean anything. We're still twelfth in the division. Three points to the, ne the next team, and twelve points if we would like to like uh, get promoted. But I don't think that's going to happen. Even if we win all the rest games, there's there's also only uh, what eight games left. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine games left. Well, if we win every game, then we might have a very slow chance to get promoted. And that would be awesome, because uh, it would basically automatically uh, mean that I'm going forward with my career without getting a new contract from another team for the next season. But let's not get uh, ahead of ourselves. Um, I'm going to end this episode now. We are in the next game going to face TSV Michel Buch. And they are third in the division. So we are facing top team after top team. Very difficult games to be had. But anyway, uh, enough is enough. We will see you again next time. And thank you for watching. Bye bye.